story at this hour and as you've seen our reporter timothy oteno is on the ground we'll be keeping an eye on this conversation nevertheless a time like this last week fatuma zarika did win the wpc um title rather and she's here with us in studio just for us to take a breather from this um taj mall demolition fatuma zarika who now retains or continues to retain the world boxing council title is here with us fatuma thank you so much for coming I can see you have um, your boxing gloves and I can see you have your title here. Yeah. It was just a time like this last week. Yeah. You were preparing to face your opponent. Yeah. How were you feeling at that time? Uh, I was feeling good. Mm -hmm. And then on another side, I was feeling scared, something like that. A <laughs> bit nervous. Yeah. Ooh. Uh -huh. Tell me, how did you prepare for this specific match? What did you have to go through? Did you change your diet? How often were you, you know, uh, preparing for this specific match? Yeah, because uh, my coach changed my diet, something like that. And uh, I have to look what I eat mm -hmm. and then to train hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, the bout was not easy, mm -hmm. just like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You open into your yacht, I think mm -hmm. I think 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 So how long did it take for you to prepare for this? Three months? Six weeks. Six weeks? Yeah. Wow. Six weeks. Yeah. All right. So then on that day, you are announced the winner. Yeah. Uliko na expect kuku a winner? Nikitwe nyambopo nilikuwa na tarajia sababu ni mshipi mindi onilikuwa nayo. Na pia nilikuwa na juwa vizuri sana. Ntashindi ya mshipi na bado ntabaki na nyumbani. Alafu, this is the World Boxing Council title. Yeah. Kuna zingine kama IBF? Yeah, kuna IBF. WIBF. Eh eh. Alafu kuna 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 pia WBC. Eh, now kuna WBC. Yeah, uh, uh, IBF and the rest. Would you want to also contest for those? Eh, nikipewa chance. Eh. Nataka kuwa na mshipi kama tatu before ni retire. Eh uh eh. -huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Speaking of retirement, uta retire lini? Ama hiyo bado iko mbali. Uh, si ati kwa mbali ni kitu nyambopo nataka at least ni eze kuangalia sana sababu ni mecheza boxing for long so I think si fai kuka hapo saizi na fai pia ku hii idea nyambopo ni konayo ni eze kupatia pia mtu mwingine mm. Mm. so mm. ni kitu nyambopo ni konayo ni kijua vizuri sana maybe maybe after one year Ni boxing alafu ni anze kutrainisha. Uh -huh. yeah. So uki, uki retire, you'll be now training other people yeah, to yeah. take over. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of Kenyans, mm -hmm. especially on Saturday, even yeah. around the world, were paying attention to this match. Yeah. Ni kama Kenyans have started becoming more attentive yeah. to boxing. Were you surprised or do we still not pay attention to, to boxing as much? By the way, I was surprised sababu ata mi mwenye wakati abobo ni toka changing room. Uh -huh. <laughs> nilishanga sana sababu sijaiona na watu kama hao kwa boxing mm. na watu wengine wenye ambapo hata wao chingi boxing mm -hmm. wamekuja hiyo siku wanasema ni lazima wajione na macho mm -hmm. so ni kitu ambapo ilinipatia mtisha sana na ni kitu ambapo nilishukuru sana mm. kuangalia ya kwamba kama kweli mashabiki mashabiki wanaweza jitokezea hivyo kwa wingi wakuja wa support boxing mm. so ina maanisha ya kwamba tunaenda far mm -hmm. na tuna change boxing mm. yeah. ungependa kuona nini ifanyike ndio enyewe the world of boxing in Kenya can go further ndio to compete with other international players ah uh, kitu yenye ambapo inafaa kufanyika ni kitu yenye ambapo tunaomba sana gava iweze kuingilia kati katikati ya boxing mm -hmm. sababu boxing ni mchezo pia kama hizo zingine mm -hmm. juu wakiweza kutupatia support i think tutaenda far na pia kampuni pia ziweze kujitolea kwa wingi mm -hmm. ziweze kutupatia pia juu bila sponsorship mm -hmm. hakuna mahali ambapo naenda mm -hmm. ni lazima uko na sponsorship ni at least ili uweze kuinuka mm -hmm. And that's one of the things you'd like to see being done. Yeah. Private uh, companies as well as the government sponsoring yeah. and making sure yeah. that this happens. Yeah. Um, I heard that you have, um, a, what do I call it, a training ground, Madhari. Yeah. Niambie. Uh, okay, life yangu ilikuwa ni life ingine tough. Mm. Na ni kitu nyambapo pia nilika nikaona... <laughs> wakati ambapo niliona Leilali akifight nikaona maybe hata mimi naweza atafuta jibu mali 
nianze kujifundisha kuona ya kwamba maybe naweza learn more ama naweza kuwa naweza kujua hiyo kitu yenye ambapo yeye anafanya mm. so hapo ndiye nilipatia mtisha na nikaenda nikatafuta gym nikatafuta mama mwingine aka nipeleka mpaka madhare mm. na akani introduce kwa watu kadhaa mm. na nikaweza kuletewa nikaweza kuletewa watu wenye ambao wanafaa kuchuzi ku train nao mm. so nikachuzi boxing na tukaanzia hapo madhare north mm. uh, and how is it going since then okay ilikuwa hard eh ilikuwa hadi juu ni kitenye ambapo haikuwa rais hivyo mm. juu nili wakati ambapo nilianza boxing nikacheza amateur mm-hmm. nikamaliza mwaka mmoja nikatani professional juu pia ile majukumu pia haikuwa nzuri mm. vile nilikuwa najaribu kuona kama nitapata job kwa mm. amateur mm. so wakati ambapo niliona kuna kazi nikatani professional mm. na professional pia naye haikuweza kunipeleka vizuri mm-hmm. bado ilikuwa tu ni hustling vitu kama hizo mm. saa zingine wanacheza game hakuna do mm. saa zingine wanacheza game au lipu hiyo mm. promoter asha hepa mm. so ilikuwa tu ni hapa na pale mm. eh, na hizo ndio challenges na hizo ndio challenges zenye ambapo tuko nazo kwa boxing mm. tulikuwa nazo kwa boxing sana sana mm. uh. but then what can we do to make sure promoters who don't pay people are dealt with accordingly because Zarika you are one person who embodies boxing here in Kenya yeah. right and yeah. even in East Africa mm-hmm. lakini maybe there's another young girl or another young man mm. who doesn't know the challenges mm. there's someone else who might come and take advantage of them yeah. so what can we do to make sure that people work work where line uh, i think tunafaa kuwa na umoja kama chama ya boxing mm-hmm. kwanza kitu ya kwanza chama ya boxing juu akiona promoter kama huyo wanafaa kuchukua license yake na wambani ya kwamba asikai yeka boxing tena na pia boxing nini chama ya boxing iweze iweze ku favor boxer Mm. juu hiyo ni kitu ambapo inafaa kufanyika vitu kama hizo juu wakati ambapo nimeweka game mara ya kwanza kama mimi promoter na nimeweka na sijalipa watu hakuna mm-hmm. haja niweze kuendelea tena kuweka fight mimi entertain niweze mm-hmm. kuendelea kuweka fight mm-hmm. na maboksa wanaumia unaona mm-hmm. itakuwa mimi naweka na walipa pesa nusu alafu na waacha ama siwalipi naenda unaona mm-hmm. na siwezi weka game kama najua vizuri sana sina pesa ya kuweka game mm-hmm. ni lazima uweke game kama unajua vizuri sana uko na pesa ya kulipa maboksa mm-hmm. so hiyo ndio kitu ambapo ina inatufanya tunarudi chini mm-hmm. na mapromoter wenye ambapo wanakuja kama mtu hana pesa ya kuweka boxing hakuna haja ingie kwa boxing mm-hmm. inafaa achukuliwe license yake na story ya kuweka boxing inshe hivyo. Mm. Uh-huh. Lakini si promoters pia a lot of our athletes ukiwaangalia especially um, our marathon runners yeah. walienda Nigeria about uh-huh. last month. Uh-huh. Um, a lot of them their flight was delayed walilala kwa airport mm-hmm. and the next day they were expected to still run and mm-hmm. perform and do Kenya proud. Mm-hmm. Hapo pia gava ha- lets down its athletes but then when we win we say eh hey, Zarika Hey, we say uh, we give uh, uh, a rugby sevens you know mm, but yeah. behind the scene there are challenges that they've gone through to raise the flag in mm, Kenya mm, high mm, mm. what would you want to see the government do uh, i think kitu nyambapo nafaa kusema kwa gavana aweze kutilia manane sana kwa sport sababu hizi ndio vitu zenye ambapo zinainua Kenya yetu na wakati ambapo unatoka hapo ukienda kucheza mali popote inakuwa ni bendera ya Kenya na peperushwa na kila mtu anakuangalia wewe sio wewe peke yako ambapo unaenda pale ukisema ati hii ni yangu mimi ndio naenda kujifanyia unaona mm. juu inakuwa Kenya mzima kila mtu anakuangalia na bado wakati ambapo umeshinda kila mtu ako nyuma yako wakati ambapo una lose hakuna mwenye ambapo ako na wewe unaona mm. so tunasherekea wakati ambapo tume win wakati tume lose na mtu hataki kujua makosa yake iko wapi exactly nime lose maybe juu ilikuwa kama vile wale walikuwa na lala airport mm. baridi ndio hiyo mm. wanapigwa na baridi hawajakula mm. unaona mm. so ustarajie mtu ataenda kufanya kazi nzuri mm. unaona hizo ni vitu zenye ambapo si upitia hata mimi nishaipitia ya kwamba nilienda nilienda nje kucheza game nafika hivi sijakula mm. eh tunaachanishwa hapo eh tuna lala airport hizo ni vitu zenye tushaipitia mm. na hizo ndio vitu zenye uhape ukienda majuu kwa wenyewe Mm. Yet you are here flying the national flag yeah, high. Yeah. Wow. Are we going to see another match before this year ends from you? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I think a sponsor wangu I think wanapanga kitu kama hiyo alafu mm. pia coach wangu. Mm. 
na coach wangu anajaribu kuona kama maybe naweza cheza kitu kama na title December mm -hmm. uh, alafu tufunge chapter ya hiyo mwaka alafu next year mm -hmm. ndio tena niweze kutetea tena taji langu hey, that would be fantastic if yeah. we can get one more game mm -hmm. from you mm -hmm. but uh, i want to know in details mm -hmm. how does zarika prepare so you said to semi uh, your diet had to change mm -hmm. you are you had to train for close to six weeks mm -hmm. to prepare for this one game that takes discipline yeah discipline yeah. tell me about your diet and how you prepare for such uh kwanza kabisa <laughs> Mimi nilishukuru sana sport pesa kulingana vile walinichukua kunitoa hapa. Mm. Uh, niliwashukuru sana mm. juu ile support yenye ambapo walinipatia kutoka hapa kunipeleka UK ku train vitu kama hizo na wakanipatia makoch wenye ambapo wanajua vizuri sana ni coach wenye ambapo atanitrainisha vizuri mm. na watajua nini Kenya ambapo nafaa kufanya na nini Kenya ambapo sifai kufanya. Mm. So hiyo wakati ambapo nilifika hapo nikapata makochi ukweli waka tukaanza kujua ni nini Kenya ambapo nafaa kukula na nini Kenya ambapo sifai kukula nikaanza training unaona mm -hmm. so hizo ni vitu zenye ambapo coach already walikuwa ready kufanya hizo hii chakula ufai kukula hii unafaa kukula so, unaweza kula nyama chama choma ama hiyo walitoa ah nyama choma walitoa <laughs> alafu pia siku na kula red meat hivyo sana uh -huh. kitenye ambapo nilikuwa nakula nilikuwa nakula white meat uh -huh alafu na rice kidogo sana mm -hmm. na hizo kitu kama spinach nini vitu mm -hmm. kama hizo mm -hmm. so nilikuwa na kula sana ile chakula nyambo ambapo najua nikienda kwa gym naenda kuitoa saa hiyo hiyo mm -hmm. uh, okay if zarika was not a, a heavyweight boxer ungekuwa mm -hmm. kifanya nini ah uh, I think ningekuwa bado tu kwa boxing tu maybe ku train shawase uh -huh. ningekuwa maybe coach uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. but at some point you will become a coach you can retire ndio yeah. usaidie uh -huh. wengine yeah. uh -huh. juu niko na talent ndio uh -huh. na najua ni nini Kenya ambapo maboksa wengi hupitia mm. na nimekuwa pale mm. so i think ningekuwa pale mm. kama coach ama promoter sioni ya kwamba kama kuna watu wengi ambapo watateseka na sitataka kuona boksa mwenzangu akiteseka vile mimi nilikuwa nateseka. Mm -hmm. uh. All right. Now what a lot of people might not know is that Zarika is not only a talented boxer mm -hmm. but she's also a mom. Yeah. Right? How has um, being a mom helped you and and made you Zarika the lady that we've known today? Ah, uh, kukwa mom imenisaidia sana sababu niko na ile ya kwamba nafaa kufanya hii kitu. Nafaa kufanya hii kitu sababu ya nini? sababu watoto wangu wako pale wanataka kula sababu wanafaa kulipa school nafaa kulipa school fees nafaa kulipa nyumba unaona mm. so hiyo ni kitu ambapo ilikuwa na push sana wakati ambapo naangalia watoto wangu hivi naona ya kwamba mm. life yenye ambapo mimi nimepitia life yenye ambapo mimi nimekaa na si ati ni kitu ambapo nilikuwa napenda mm. eh? mm. watoto wangu wapitie ile shida yenye ambapo nimepitia nataka kuwapatia life nzuri na nitafanya aje mm. nafaa ku struggle na nafaa ku push Mm. ndio ile nifike mahali ambapo nimefika so they've inspired you they've even pushed you yeah. are there times you wanted to give up yeah mm. but what stopped you uh, kuna time yenye ambapo nilikuwa nataka ku give up sababu sasa hiyo nilikuwa nimekaa karibu 2 years hakuna fight na kila fight yoyote yenye ambapo napata tena na inarudi na wanasema ya kwamba siwezi cheza so na nafaa kulipa nyumba niko na watu wengi nafaa kula unaona so hizo ni vitu zenye ambapo zilikuwa zina pia zinanifanya yani ni niseme ai afadhali niacha na hii boxing juu sioni kama inanisaidia mm. ni tafute kitu kingine ya kufanya at least ndio watoto wangu waweze kuendelea na kusoma eh. so nikaka chini nikafikiria kwamba wacha nianze kutrainisha wase mm. nikaanza kutrainisha watu na nikasahau kwanza na boxing kidogo yeah. tena nikastukia tena nimerudi huko sababu ni kitu ambapo nime ninapenda na iko ndani ya roho yangu so ni, nikastukia tena nimerudi sababu wakati ambapo na trainisha watu na mimi na train bado mm. so nikarudi tu tena pale pale <laughs> nikapata tena fight nyingine nikaenda nikarudi Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fatuma, thank you so much for being here. Thank and you. success with all the other matches that you, you will play and continue flying the Kenyan flag high. Fatuma Zarika, as she retains the World Boxing Council title.